एरिन डिस्क एरिन कॉमा ए डिस्क एंड ए सॉलिड स्फेयर a solid sphere all of same radius and same mass solid sphere all of same radius and same mass roll down an inclined plane roll down an inclined plane from the same height from the same height H Which of the 3 Which of the 3 reaches the bottom earliest and latest A ring disk and a solid sphere all of same radius and same mass roll down an inclined plane from the same height which of the 3 reaches the bottom earliest and latest in diagram a body is placed on an inclined plane and which rolls down the inclined plane and here when a body having circular cross section rolls down an inclined plane rolls down an inclined plane ab the acceleration that means the linear acceleration of the body the linear acceleration of the body down the inclined plane down the inclined plane is given by a equal g sin theta whole divided by 1 plus i by mr square which is equation 1 a equal g sin theta divided by 1 plus i by mr square which is equation 1 where i is the moment of inertia i is the moment of inertia of the body i is the moment of inertia of the body and r is the radius of the body for a ring moment of inertia i is mr square only mass into product of uh, the radius uh, product between the mass and the square of uh, radius here therefore acceleration of the ring is g sin theta divided by 1 plus mr square by mr square therefore a ring equal 0.5 g sin theta which is the linear acceleration of a, a ring rolling down an inclined plane a ring equal 0.5 g sin theta this is the linear acceleration this is the linear acceleration of the ring of the ring rolling down an inclined plane rolling down the inclined plane rolling down the inclined plane for a disk for a disk moment of inertia i equal to mr square by 2 therefore a disk equal g sin theta divided by 1 plus 1 by 2 therefore a disk equal 2 by 3 g sin theta a disk equal 2 by 3 g sin theta which is the linear acceleration of the ring which is which is the linear acceleration of the disk rolling down the inclined plane for a solid sphere moment of inertia i is equal to 2 by 5 mr square therefore linear acceleration of the solid sphere rolling down the inclined plane is a sphere equal g sin theta divided by 1 plus 2 by 5 therefore a a sphere equal 5 by 7 g sin theta this is the linear acceleration of the solid sphere rolling down an inclined plane a sphere equal 5 by 7 g sin theta this is the linear acceleration of a solid sphere linear acceleration of a solid sphere rolling down the inclined plane 
So, therefore, A disc, if we calculate, then it will be 0 0.67 times of G sin theta. And A sphere is equal to 0 0.71 G sin theta. In this case, linear acceleration of the solid sphere is maximum among the three bodies as A sphere is the maximum linear acceleration rolling down the inclined plane here. A sphere is greater than A disc, greater than A ring. Therefore, as A sphere is maximum, that is the linear acceleration with which the solid sphere, the linear acceleration with which the solid sphere rolls down the inclined plane, rolls down the inclined plane, rolls down the inclined plane, down the inclined plane is maximum is maximum comma it will take shortest time to reach the bottom of the inclined plane it will take shortest time as t equal to root over 2l by a sphere l is the length of the inclined plane it will take shortest time to reach the bottom of the inclined plane bottom of the inclined plane That is, so if we draw the diagram, inclined plane, AB is the inclined plane and theta is the angle of inclination. This is a solid sphere which rolls down the inclined plane with a linear acceleration A sphere. At t equals 0, it starts to roll down the inclined plane and this solid sphere reaches the bottom of the inclined plane AB. Bottom of the inclined plane AB at the time t equal to t. Theta is the angle of inclination. L is the length of the inclined plane AB. Here AB equal L. Therefore, time taken to reach the bottom of the solid sphere is t equal to root over 2l by a sphere. The solid sphere, that is the solid sphere will reach the bottom of the inclined plane earliest. The solid sphere will reach the bottom at the earliest. Solid sphere will reach the bottom of uh, the inclined plane earliest. Again, this is the solid sphere in the diagram. And at t equal t second, it will reach the bottom of the inclined plane and this is the shortest time. Again, A as A ring, that means linear acceleration of the ring is minimum. It will reach the bottom latest. It will reach the bottom of the inclined plane latest.